you want to hear my secret joke about peanut butter? Well, actually, you might spread it. <laughs> Welcome to spending a hundred days in the back room. Today you're gonna find out what happened to me. So if you enjoy this video and you want to see more like it, smack that like button and subscribe if you're new. It's free. And I'm yellow. First things first, we need to find one of these creatures, capture it, and take it to be experimented on. How I'm gonna capture it, uh, I haven't really figured that out yet. But oh, I guess we'll just wait for one of them to- Oh, here he is! It's clumps! <laughs> oh, it's like a cockroach with a, got lots of- I'm dead. Were those tea? Where's my boy? Oh, I'm dead now. We gotta find him again. I think the easiest way to do this is just to stick him in my remover and take him to the other map. We just gotta find him. Clumps. Where are you? There he is! Quickly grab him before he shoots that thing at me again. To the other map. Ah! Well, this'll do nicely. Here's clumps. <laughs> Now, we did see when he killed me for a split second that he did have a mouth. What the? He's got a hole on the back. What is this? Ah, uh, he's currently turned off, so he's hiding things from us. But I think if we pick him up, is he going to reveal? No? I reckon the mouth is in there. Did anything change about the back hole? No, it's still the same. Oh, no. We're going to have to turn him on, aren't we? He has 11,000 health. Let's give me a quick smack on the schnoz. A uh, little bit of damage and also 10 regen a second. Not too much. Hey, clump. What the? Oh, he grabbed me with a hat. Was it a hand? Was it his tail? And then he ate me. Now you're gonna have to have a think about this one. Mm-hmm. I thought I've come to the conclusion. He requires a sacrifice. Gerald. G Gerald, come this way, would you? Gerald, this way. Oh, he's seen him. Clumps has seen him. He's grabbed him. He's doing a thing. Uh, Jerry, you winning, lad? He's kicking you. Are those hands or feet? <laughs> Jerry dead. Uh oh, I'm next. Let me know in the comments. Do you think he's a cockroach or something else? Or is he a potato with arms? And how much damage did Jerry do? He did, he did just over a thousand. That's not great. But let's give this fella a bullseye and see how he fight. Help yourself. So he does the thing. He tries to grab me with it again. It's a giant. I think it's a giant hand. Also, he has a lot of melee attacks where he closes his mouth. Also, he seems to change the speed at which he hits things. So, what? The flea? Is he a flea? Oh, he's doing the thing. There's the mouth. He picked up the bullseye. Now he's just staring it down. What? We've never seen that before. Oh, right, we're going to move it back to the ground so we can fight it again. He's jumped away. I want to see what happens to the back. What happens to this hole? Oh, that's where the hand comes from. It all makes sense now. Now, the best way really to reveal uh, what's going on on his insides. Uh, well, we've got a couple of options. We've got the size tool, which we'll try first. We'll just make him massive and then we'll enter him. I'm a scientist. I'm allowed. I've also just realized his are hands. He's got six of them and he's got four feet. They're all very human. I don't like it, but he has no face. All right, we're going in. Oh, there's the mouth. We've we, we found it. Oh, it's gross. Look how sharp his teeth are. And then up here, there's no sign of the grabby hand, I don't think. You could use him as a piggy bank for all your dead Geralds. <laughs> and our other option to reveal the teeth was to break his bones. There we go. There's the teeth. You see them? Uh, those fingers are gross. Oh, <laughs> on the toe. Um, this is fine. Oh, but oh, he's, oh, I think we've broken it. I think we've broken his hand because he missed. He's also very kind of slow. Oh, he's doing the thing, but he mi he's missing again. Oh, never mind. He got me. But what happens if you lock yourself nice and safely inside of a room like this one? And we close the door. Oh, and we turn him back on and he'll slowly walk over to where I am inside the box. Will he be able to yank me out though? Ah, uh, wait for the hand, I guess. Am I safe? Oh, there it is. <laughs> That's terrifying. So a little bit of advice. The only way you can survive this fella is if you run real, real fast. And later on, we'll test to see how strong he is against the other new creatures. But first, back to the back room. So we're back in the back rooms looking for our next creature. Where will it- Oh my- Was anyone expecting that? I actually- I nearly pooped myself. I think we found the memory worm. All right, well, I, I guess now we just wait for it to come to me. But that thing is fast. Quick, the remover. Where is it, Where is it gonna come from? <laughs> it could be any- There it is! Oh, got him. No, I'm still dead. But that's fine. To the other map. I have arrived. Here's a worm. Uh, it's- a memory worm. Uh, I don't. I think he does something with your memories. I'm pretty sure I read that somewhere once. He has a. <laughs> is that a butt horn? He has thirty thousand health, which is a lot for a back room creature. And let's just turn him on, see what he do. Kill me. But I remember everything. Unlike our previous creature, the worm has some speed. Look at the speed. But clearly, I do not have the strength to fight this fella because he just kills me in one shot repeatedly. What? Oh, he did a thing. He bit me that time and there was 
Were those memory crystals to eat my brain? I think a good foe for him to experiment with is the bridge worm. Worm be worm. Let's turn him on and see what he'll do to the worm. He's stabbing him. He's eating him. And up. Well, uh, he took 200 damage, just less than. He doesn't have any regen, thank goodness. But the bridge worm's dad has heard about the fight and he's come for revenge. It's the highway worm. He is also, uh, d he's sending him backwards. I think when he bites him, it sends him back in time to the place he was before. And oh, God. Uh-oh. Well, apparently if you make two worms fight, it can crash a game. But I have another experiment to try. Ten cherries in a row. We know Jerry doesn't teleport, but I believe the worm can make him teleport by sending him back in time through his own memory. There's only one way to find out, and that is to set the Jerry's on the worm. Do the bite. Is it working? What's happening? Uh, the Jerry's have won. This one is... How are you... What's ha what's wrong with you? Why are you glowing? Has he got the worm inside him? He was beautiful for a second, but he's also on death's door. So let's... <laughs> there we go. When do you tell your dog to sit? <laughs> This time, let's try it with Cartoon Cat, who can teleport, but also moves around a bit more, so it might be more obvious if he's sending him places. Let's give it a go. Here comes the cat, although it, it may be hard to tell whether the cat is teleporting himself, but it seems like when the worm bites with those crystal effects, it does de-aggro some of the cat. Um, he's also doing a lot of damage, but I don't, surely the worm will not win this one. Oh, he's still got 25,000 health. Never mind, I'll take it back. Why is this cat like this? Did you go to the Jerry School of Sitting? Uh, look, oh, look at how the, the mouth comes out oh it protrudes uh is the worm okay he, i think he's stuck he's uh oh no he's back in action i mean clearly we have the new strongest worm in the game he's just making light work of these cats oh and now he's making out with the one that's sitting up oh and of course we've got to randomize those bones to make him even more hideous oh got a couple of sphincters in there where's your hitbox gone worm there it is <laughs> Just made it a bit weird now, haven't we? Get me a fresh one. And now we're gonna jump back inside this building and hopefully see if we're safe from the worm. Close the door. Close. And let's just turn the worm on. Will he just burst through the door? Oh, he's on the side. Oh, he's smart. That worm's smart. He's doing the thing. I don't think I've ever seen a worm jump before. This one seems no different. I fell. Okay, well, I'm not stuck on his head. You know what this means. Say Tama fists, baby. <laughs> Back to the back rooms. Oh, well, uh, we came straight back to a dead end. And I found the party goer. There he is. He, <laughs> he smacked me against the wall. But there, there he goes. Hello. Where is he? Uh, I think I found him, lads. Uh, let's grab the remover and fight. Oh, we got him. <laughs> it was a twofer. I'm dead again. See you in the green. I love a party as much as the next guy. Unless the next guy is... This fella. Why is he red now? He comes in all different colors. Or just three? There's a green one too. How many have you got? It's an easier way to do this. 100 party goers. Uh-oh. Oh, we broke the game. Oh, look at them all. These blue ones. And the balloons. Even they come in different colors. Oh, well, there's a brown one. There's one dark gray one or two. It seems like no two colors are the same. Right, well, that's too many. This may also be too many. I'm sure it's fine. That... Did they breathe fireflies on me? What kind of party is this? Where are my friends? Party friends! Oh, here they come! You're all invited! <laughs> oh, that's terrifying. Oh, <laughs> it's just the boys. <laughs> oh, they killed me again. Well, at least they're friends with each other. Maybe I should let my new friends meet my old friends. Well, it's just one friend, but 50 of him. Gerald, Gerald, help yourself to the party snacks. Um, oh, they are, they are being battered a little bit. Uh, it's kicked in the face, stomped, burned. Uh, it's not going well for the are they, are they? Oh, they killed those as well. Did you get any of them? I don't know if they took any damage. Where are they going? So now let's just take a look at one individually. This one is green. He's got 14,500 health. A terrifying face. Thumbs up. Well, is it thumbs up? Th thumbs, thumbs curled? And a balloon. Also, uh, wait a second. Stop moving. You've got blood on the back. Still sus. What if we smack him? Oh, we did 25 damage, but he has no regen, which is a treat. So now let's get a real sense of his moves by giving him a bullseye. Turn him on. There's the flames. He breathes fire from his mouth. Sometimes he'll bite you. <laughs> uh, the bites are also a little bit... Are they flames? It seems like a, perhaps a poison. Oh, God. He never uses the balloon, though. He, he did risk popping it. And whilst we've got him here, let's just break his... Uh... <laughs> 
Okay, this may be the best one today. Okay, one more time. Oh, oh, he's eating himself. So now the time has come. We've seen all three new creatures. Let's make them fight. Starting with clumps versus memory worm. 30,000 health versus 11,000. Surely the worms got this in the bag. Oh, they're friends. I forgot the back rooms are all friends. Well, I fixed that and now they should duel to the death. Uh, clumps, I forgot how slow he is. Oh, he's grabbed him. But is it, the worm's just too big. The worm could swallow him whole. He seems to be trying to de-aggro clumps. And oh, he's just, oh God. When he bites him, he just suffocates him. That's so gross. Where are you going, clumps? I think he's messing with his memory. He's making him forget that he's supposed to be fighting. Is that why he's the memory worm? Well, clumps is at half health. He's only managed to do just over 3,000 damage, which is not too bad. But he should, he should be dead. But maybe while he's low health, he'll have a special move up his sleeve. No, no, he's just, he's just been eaten. The, the worm wins by quite a lot. So next up, we've got the party goal with its 14,500 health to fight a fresh new worm at 30,000. They should fight one another. Thumbs up if you're ready. Uh, sort of. Release the beast. Okay, he's breathed on him. He's been de stabbed in the chest. Is he, is he winning? Uh, party goer, he's behind you, lad. He is kicking the worm. He's headbutting the worm. He's doing his best. But the, the worm is just OP. He keeps making him forget why he's here. <laughs> This the party? Uh, I was looking for the party. Oh, he's poisoned him. The worm has been poisoned. It, will it do much? It, uh, it seems like he, uh, not really. It looks cool though. Look at the worm. Look at the glitter. Now that's a party. When he gets, when the party goer gets knocked back, he does seem to glide a little bit, which I, I think he's using the balloon as a mini parachute. He's definitely done more damage to the worm than Clumps did. But again, the thumb is just no match for this giant memory worm. And the party is over. Or is it just beginning? It is if you subscribe. So if you aren't familiar with the back rooms, it's a creepy series of rooms that all kind of look the same. And our new mod contains a spawner. We have spawned the spawner and now we simply turn things on and hope for the best. Uh, hopefully we get our faceling first. They are the most common of the creatures in the back rooms. But we must simply wait. I just heard some footsteps. I think, ah, we've got one. You may think, who is this dude? Uh, well, it's a faceling. He has no face. And they're non-hostile. They'll kind of just roam the back rooms. Uh, there are some versions of them, though, that are hostile. But also, this one is too, if you... Yep. And they come in all kinds of shapes and sizes and looks and styles. And they're trying... I don't know if they can open doors. Guys, do you need help? I can help. Excuse me. Excuse... No. They're like Minecraft villagers. Get in there. And we lock them in. Nice. But then there's the odd chance that you get this, uh, which is a, a faceling child, which has uh, slightly less health, 5,000 instead of 6,000, but it, uh, it'll it kill you, <laughs> which is nice. She has a knife. She has a knife. And now she's just roaming the corridors. <laughs> so hopefully we don't bump into her again. Although I can... Ah! It's that fella. What? He just farted and... What? <laughs> what happened? I forgot that not only is the child after me, but also that one dude that I smacked. Uh, what is that? Oh, it's just a pipe. Okay, oh, I'm getting a bit spooked. Let's spawn in our next creature. It's a smiler and uh, I've made a fatal mistake by shining my flashlight. That's it! The child! Where do we go? I'm going in a room. Room! Close the door! Never mind. Fine. It's fine. This place gets deadlier by the second. So not all smilers are actually aggressive. They are, of course, if you smack them or if you shine a flashlight at them to try and expose the beast within. But you can't. No. And so far, he's the strongest creature with 8,500 health. Before the child comes, should we shine the light on it? Oh. Ah, oh, there it is. He'll chew on your belly. And of course, naturally, we have a hostile version, which you don't even need to shine your light at. You could just close the door. Did we? Oh, no, he's in here with us. Kite him. Oh, he closed the door on myself. <laughs> By the way, comment below which creatures from the back rooms you want to see in part two of the mod. Back to the corridors. Oh. And so far, our final creature we haven't seen so far is the unknown. He's just, he's just violent. He's quite quick, but he, you can dodge him. It's possible. Trust me, I've done it. We're back in this room and we've... 
close the door. Where's the smile? Okay, the smile is gone. I don't know how he left, but he did. So the unknown is a creature no one really knows the name of. Um, is he too big to fit through the door? Maybe? Hello? He also has the most health with 18,000. Let's hit him. I. Unfortunately, he does have a bit of health regen, about five a second. But of course, the banana fists are quite strong. We can. Oh, there we go. Sorted him out. Right. <laughs> Where's that child? I don't know where they've all gone. I'm kind of scared. Uh, I think I found the child. And there she goes, stabbing me again. But I think we need to head to the flat grass to test these creatures to see who's the strongest and maybe break some bones. Will you stop it? To the flat grass. Transition. And we've arrived in the flat grass. Smell that grass. Grassy. So to get a true cross section of all the face links, here's 50 of them. Would you look at all those jackets? Do, do you see a face? Is there a single face? I see no faces. Maybe a bit of a face in this one. And if you break their bones, <laughs> can we give them faces? Uh, I don't. I don't think it's helping. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Ah, uh, are you okay, sir? And then, of course, we have the face link girl, who we didn't really get a close-up look at earlier because she was just trying to stab me. But she's got, um, no face. And she's got <laughs> blood on it, a lot of blood. She's got blood on her knees. And a big knife. And only 5,000 health. So let's set them on each other and see who wins. Fight to the death, please. Um, I would imagine she's going to win. She's just stabbing him in the butt repeatedly. Uh, sir, you gonna t you want to turn around? You want to... Oh, my... What? What? what just happened? Why did she run like this? <laughs> I mean, it's kind of terrifying just how quick she is. I feel a bit bad for this man now, though. I am so sorry. Is there even a way we can get you to hate her? You, he should be set to be aggressive. Oh, hang on. He's doing... No, he thought about it. He can't hit a child. It's a respectful trait to have. But you are gonna die. And there it is. Congratulations. I don't like how she runs. I do, however, like the idea of breaking her bones. And, oh no. Oh, look at the chin. It's the crimson chin. What? Oh no. What's happened? What, what does this mean? Uh, what the? Why is that one arm so long now? Oh, she's now an adult, which means I don't have to feel bad about this. And then, of course, the Smiler. 8,500 health. Is he stronger than the child? Only one way to find out. We turn him on and hope for the best. Um, they, he is actually fighting this time and seems to be doing about 300 damage per bite. And her stabs are doing about 250. So the Smiler, I think, should win. Unless the child hits faster. Look at him fight. I wonder what happens if we shine a flashlight at him right now. Does he mind? Is he gonna be- Uh-oh. Oh no, I broke him. I broke you, sir. I'm sorry. Hang on. Go, get angry again. Do the- No! I betrayed him. Uh, well, this one didn't count. Reset. Two fresh ones. We'll get them back to where they were. So we're back with the child, I think just under a thousand health and a smiler. It's a smiler's- <laughs> He finished her off. Easy peasy. Look at that regen. He's coming back to life. Is he even alive? Congratulations, sir. Help yourself to the snack table. That's me on the table. But you didn't think we could have the Smiler without breaking his bones, right? You, you, does he even have any bones? Only one way to find out. Oh, it's just his teeth and his eyes. Uh, does the smoke change? I don't know if the smoke changes. What if we get... Oh, there we go. He's eating his own eyeball. Is there a way we can make him less threatening? This is the best I could do. So then finally we have the Smiler versus Unknown. Now we know that the Unknown has 18,000 health versus 8,500. So you'd think he'd win. Look at his square little head. A little telly head. He's got some vein, veiny, veiny, inky stuff. Could be related to Cartoon Cat and a Teletubby. But let's turn him on. Fight to the death for my entertainment, would you lads? Um, it would appear uh, Unknown is doing a lot of damage. About 800 per hit or 750. And it's over. Just like that, he barely took any damage. And he also regens 5 health a second. He's got like a weird little scarf thing going on. And you too, sir, can have some snacks. And the final bone break of the day. Um, <laughs> look at his legs. Really makes you realize how skinny he is. He could be related to Siren Head. He also kind of looks like he's got ears and a hat. But that's pretty much it for these new backroom creatures. If you've enjoyed this video, please smack that like button and subscribe. It's free. And I'm... <laughs> Dead and yellow.
so we begin with the bone thieves. It's just a regular frog. He's crying like frogs do. Is he crying because the splits hurt? Or is it because he has a demon inside? Here's some information about him. Pause the video if you want to read it. This guy got some lore. But as you can see, he's got 128,000 health. And we're going to turn him on. And I'm going to die. He puked pink. Uh, do it again, sir. You missed. I know he didn't miss. So let's just turn him off and I'll show you what he's just done to me. You might be thinking, he's just killed you. What do you mean? He's done more than that. Take a look at me. Look at the state of me. Me bones. Me bones. Why are you like this, frog? Why? All right, did he, did he fix me? Did he fix me by killing me again? Oh, look at that bicep. Oh, I've been to the gym. All right, let's give him some more guinea pigs and see what he does to them. And by guinea pigs, I mean Gerald. Let's turn him on. And uh, Jerry, immediately, he's... <laughs> He's freaking out. Jerry, you're very purple in there. He's, oh no, he's on top of him. Also, take take a minute to just admire his walk. Look at them legs. Talk about legs. Oh, such great form. Was he a gymnast? Can he fight 50 Jerry's? Oh, only one way to find out. Can he break more than one bone at a time? He's, oh, I think so. They've killed him. They burst him. They turned him into lightning. But the state of these jet, look at the chest on this one. Fabulous. Um, yeah, he, it would have been, <laughs> it would appear he can do more than one bone break at a time. Some of them are more broken than others. <laughs> Where's your neck, boy? I think he stole it. And as you can see, a lot of them only have 1,300 health left. So he does a lot of damage. He, what are you two doing? And he did manage to kill about 10 of them. So now before we make him fight some of the previous backroom monsters, let's give him a bit of justice. Not orange justice. Bone ra- <laughs> oh, do we oh, you like it? How do you like it now? Maybe that's why he's crying. Nobody likes it when they play with their bones. Yeah, much better. We can no longer see the demon. It's just Lemon the Frog. So now let's make him fight the face snake. It's just a dude with no face. I like your tracksuit. Let's see how he goes. Oh, he's, he's murdered me. Why? Well, I don't know. Why did he do it? What did I do to you? It would appear these two, seeing as they have to live together in the back rooms, they are friends. And therefore, we must fix it by making them hate one another. And now, oh, there he goes. His face? How's his face doing? You splattered him. We, mm, the, the frog took no damage. But fear not, we have a stronger face thing. This one's got a knife. It's also a child. Go see if he's got any grapes. Oh, okay. Oh, Oh, he one shot her. That is oh, okay. She did no damage. So let's see how the smile affairs. He's got a bit more health, eight thousand five hundred. It's not great, but it'll do. Maybe that smile will stop him crying. Cause does he have any bones? He's dead. And then we have unknown. Does anyone know what it is yet? And this one has the most health of all the previous creatures with eighteen thousand. I still don't hold out much hope for him though. Look at his bones. Look at him go. He's breaking. He's still alive. Oh, he burst him like a bursting bug. We've not seen that before. But clearly, so far the bones thief is the new strongest but there's more creatures to go but let's quickly give him a bullseye this little green cube and see what attacks he has we've seen his vomit his stinky little purple vomit and then the the ground smash i like it there's a lot of melee smacking oh boy and that's basically it i mean he's a crying frog what do you want from him so next we have the skin stealer oh he's gross look at the texture on him you're gonna catch fly he's got eighteen thousand health really chunky forearms and he kind of doesn't have a skin so that's why he's the skin stealer he's gonna find someone else is he jealous would he like mine oh groin to the face what's happening he burst me from the inside is this normal i'm dying i think this is fine i'm still alive oh there he is he was in me that's gross please don't do that again sir can you outrun him you can he has no range attack it seems like <laughs> look how he runs look at them like <sighs> Someone needs to start giving walking lessons in the back rooms because these monsters have no idea. Look. Oh, he's. What's he done? What did he. Huh? He's wearing a something. Are those. Is that my skin? Whose skin was that? Oh, I think he took my lips. He might have taken my mouth and worn it. That's a bit weird. See ya. Let's see if he'll wear my dog skin. Maybe I can have a Jerry 2.0. Let's see how it goes. Uh, take his skin. Oh, oh, gray. D is that is that it? You took the grayness from Jerry? It's kind of sad. Jerry nearly killed you, lad. He managed to do 2,000 damage. And there, his skin has reversed back to that weird fleshiness. Let's see if he'll want Big Charlie's skin. I guess not. Charlie, go see this new fella, would you? 
Give him your skin. Okay. He's taking bits. I think he's taking the hair. And then, oh, he's in, Charles. Charles, he's in, you lad. Charlie, do something. He's drunk on power. Oh, what are you doing? Here, you want some of this? Have that. Oh, he's peeing himself. Why is he? What, what happens if we make him fight Baldy with his stick? Is he going to take it? He took something from him. Will he want to look like a pigeon? Does he? Oh, he's wearing the pigeon. Oh, that's excellent. You, you look great. I'm convinced. Here, become a rat. Oh, no, he's in, you lad. Uh, rat, do something. Rat, you're going to die, I think. Uh, this rat is minus 292. What? Whose rat is this? What? How is this rat alive? Become a scorpion. Uh oh, you got a fat tail, boy. Come with me. You want this? Snacks? Oh, you just punched it. You just, okay. Mammoth? Will you become... Oh, the mammoth is like, nope. Not today, skin stealer. Oh, he keeps yeeting him back. He's trying his best. The mammoth's too strong. Oh, he's going in the butt. That's it. Oh, and he's got him. Didn't take his skin, though. He just needed to kill him. Does he want to look like the Indominus Rex? He kind of already does. There it is. He's wearing his skin, but he's dead. Ooh, I guess Indominus wins. So now let's see if the skin stealer can defeat the bone thiever. It's two of my favorite things. First, let's see if they're friends. They are, of course, but we can fix that. I have the power of hatred. You can stand in his mouth. Very good boy. And uh, we turn him on. And okay, he's he's inside you. He, do you mind? He's bleeding. I think it's fine. You've done a little bit of damage, but he's regenerating it all back and yellow. He was was yellow. He's dead though. Uh, it was all too fast. Uh, I think he went black and then yellow. His bones were broken. You know, he's kind of got a good cake on him. But the bone thiever is the strongest. He remains the king. He is yellow. If you wanted to learn more about the skin stealer, here's some information on screen. Pause the video if you want to read it. But up next, we've got the white tripod. Now, this is a creature that doesn't actually have a name or any information on the wiki. But we found a really cool video on YouTube, which you can see on screen which featured this dude in it so we made it look at him with his tentacles they're all whipping around he got a couple of mouths three legs hence the tripod and 18,000 health what does he do i don't know let's turn him on he wonder where he runs around does he want this rat oh he does now let's see if he's violent of course he is he lives in the back rooms you gotta be tough to live there oh he's kind of quick though here he comes oh he's like a horse from hell i don't like it Powerful bite. Kind of strong for a dude with no teeth. But is he as strong as the skin stealer who also has 18,000 health? It's the battle of the 18. Good luck, lads. He's jumped over him. Oh, he's bitten him on the back. I think he's... Oh, he's turned white. He's turned black. He's turned white. He's inside him. Uh, he's doing damage. Stay still with you. He's doing uh, 300 damage from within. He's come back out, smacking him right on the butt. Ooh, someone's glowing red. Uh-oh. He, what? He had most of his health still, sir. You can't just kill him. The skin stealer, I've just noticed, regens 150 health a second. Does the tripod? Yep. 150 as well. Now, call me the bone thief because I want to break some bones. Oh, it looks like the dude from Amnesia. You know, the, the thing with the head. Do you see what I mean? And now your turn, shrimp. Doesn't he kind of look like a shrimp? Oh, oh, the, oh, I've broken his antenna. Oh, he closed his mouth. <laughs> Are you okay? It's the lads. Now, we've seen that nobody so far today has been able to take on 50 Jerry's, but can they, together, as a unit, the three new lads, take on the boys? Oh. Hang on. Let's just get rid of that. Ooh, nothing to see here. Come on, Jerry's. Do it for the... What's happening? That's a lot of purple. I th someone's winning. I think it might be the Jerry's. The Jerry's have won. I actually, I, I can't believe it. They've looked better. They've had better days. <laughs> Some of them got cake now. We'll take it. And bellies. One like is one rip for all the fallen Geralds. And of course, the one final experiment to see if the bone thief can defeat the tripod. Me thinks it'll be over quite quickly. Uh, he's, he's breaking his hairs. Oh, what do you mean? The tri- Huh? How has he, how has he done that then? But the skin stealer beat him. Well, that's Gary's mod for you. But I've looked better. You never know what can happen. So if you've enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more backroom monsters, Smack that like button and comment below which ones you'd like to see. Also subscribe, it's free. And I'm yellow. Now you may notice we're also in a slightly more secure facility and that is because, well, some of today's monsters are, oh, they're just, you know, they may cause you to poo. And behind this door is our first creature. Dare we open it? Ah, there he is. It's Moto Moto. Wait, no. 
It's Shrek. Moto Shrek? Shrek Toe? This creature has the body of Moto Moto. Here's a picture of Moto Moto. Moto Moto. And of course, the head of a Shrek. Also, in case you're wondering if bananas can get COVID, yes, they can. And that's why I sound like this. One like is one banana antibody, please. <laughs> Hi, Shrek. Are you violent? Oh, you dick, no. And as always, I've spawned somewhere randomly inside the back room. So, <laughs> Moto Shrek is probably hunting me as we speak. Oh, I think I found him, lads. Here he is. Oh my god, the speed! <laughs> Did he just think he fell over? Is he gonna get back? Oh, he got back up. So now let's just let him wander around and see what he does. This is how he walks. What do you think? 10 out of 10, eh? Good walking, Shrek. Excellent posture. Chest out. He's proud. Now we've seen he clearly has the power to one-shot me. But can he do the same thing to Gerald? Gerald, what do you think? Oh, he's screaming in his face and he's just, just let on him. Jerry's all right, isn't he? Ger Ger Gerald? Get up! Can you do that again, please? But do it this time to Barry. Oh, Barry! Behind! What is he doing? Was he nibbling on him? It won't be complete without the three of them lying there. Get the cat, nibble on the butt. He turned the cat around. The cat's still alive. The cat does have more health. Oh, there it is, the final nibble. Drag him onto the pile. So now let's turn our health on so that we can see how much health he has. He, he has 80 health. And Gerald has 5,000. I didn't understand. He's led on him again. Look how slowly he gets up. Now the reason he falls over is because he's, well, got these legs. They're not great for running. He trips sometimes, and that's fine. I'm not very coordinated either. Now, I wonder why he has 80 health. It's very strange. He's probably the lowest health of any creature we've seen in the back room. Can he be killed? Let's find... No. I'm t I think I did one damage to him, too. This is weakness. He's so strong. Well, I've got a plan. <laughs> it involved some Jerry's, but um, one of them's in him. <laughs> It looks like he's giving him a piggyback whilst he's nibbling on his head. Now Shrek is dying. He's taking maybe half a health. Now we're just gonna leave this Jerry to his business and see what happens when he kills Moto Shrek. I don't know why you're not getting involved. I know you're stuck in a wall, but I understand. Oh, the Jerry's just picked him up. I was helping him with a shotgun and then Jerry just executed him. Also, I think that's the blood from me shooting the Gerald. But now we've got 10 Geralds roaming around in the back rooms. That's not great. But before we move on to our next monster and then eventually let Shrek fight them, you didn't think I wouldn't randomize his bones, did you? Here it comes. <laughs> Oh, he's got one eye. Uh, it's fine. If, if I keep doing it, it'll get back to normal. I oh, it's all right, Shrek. Stay calm. Don't panic. All right, plan B. What have I done? So up next is another sort of meme backroom monster, and it's the Giga Chad. He's Chadley. Chadlington? You know, the handsome fella from the memes? Well, he's now in the back rooms. So he's got 14,000 health. Give him a smack. I oh, might regret that. I did 14 damage, and he has no health regen. Does he hate me for doing that? He does. Glitter? What else do you do? More smacking. Again? Oh, that time. Oh, that took me in the wall. So now I am curious to see whether he can defeat. Where are you going? Hey, come back. Wait, can he escape? He can't open doors. That is good to know. Can we just close that? Alrighty, you stay in there. Well, so I find your opponent. Shrek, you, where are you going? Why do they want to leave? Alright, come on out. Come fight him, please. Wait, they are friends. Of course they're friends. They live here. They're neighbors. Also, quickly in the comments, which butt's better? Uh, let me know. Right, now I need to set their relationship to hate one another. And then let the standoff begin. My money's on Shrek. He's been kicked in the gr What's happening? Fire! He's punching and kicking. Shrek, get up! Shrek, do something. Wait a second. Does this work? Shrek! Uh-oh. Oh. He's I think that actually hurt him a lot. I'm so sorry, Shrek. Still handsome, though. Look at the, the, the nibbles do a lot of damage. So for some reason, Chad is broken. And whilst Shrek nibbles away, let's just break his bones. Can we make him more handsome? Uh, no. The answer is no. <laughs> I hope the dude who is the Giga Chad never actually watches this. I'm so sorry, dude. Just two dudes hanging out smacking. Well, Shrek wins. Let's close that. But let's just give the Giga Chad a slightly weaker foe. Oh, look who it is again. So we can see some more of his moves. Give him your best shot, Ger Gerald. I think we're going to need to take him out of the back room so we can see some of his moves in a bit more detail. That one seemed like a laser from the sky. But before we do that, our next creature, it's the dude in the hazmat suit. He also has 14,000 health. Let's go inside. There's no one in here. Now, this may be one of the coolest NPCs we've ever made because, well, it sets traps. Let's set him free. And he's just going to wander the halls until he finds a back room creature. For example, let's give him the library entity. He's seen him and he set a trap. The like, oh, 
and the trap has gone off, it's killed him, and the library is no more. What about the skin stealer? Let's spawn him all the way over there. Have you, oh, oh God, good job I didn't walk over there. I wonder if, uh, it didn't go off for me. Hello, sir, are you stuck on that? Is that a camera? Oh no, he's going, he's going for the trap. What is he doing? Is he gonna go over there? Oh, he's running. He's fleeing. Flee, my friend. He set another trap and it worked this time. So if the traps don't actually kill them, he'll just run away and set a new one. Now let's see if it works on Gerald. Oh, he set one. Ger it didn't. It only did 4,000 damage. It wasn't enough. <laughs> Gerald, why have you done that? Oh, he's dead. He finally got him. He set two traps that time. Now he can also set these little traps that go on the ground. <laughs> Um, they're supposed to trap your leg, but that one just killed me. And let's just check again. Yep, it'll kill you. And if we just put a Gerald in there, is it gonna... Gerald, you wanna... You wanna, you wanna step on this, Gerald? There we go. Oh, it did 1,300 damage. But you can also, if you see them, you can kill them. There you go. It's gone. And you can also place these traps too. But I don't think you can kill these. These are just, they're there to stay. And they should work on people too. It missed. And I'm still alive. And it resets and works again. But I think because I put it down, it won't kill me. My trap is loyal. So I did find this other creature which was made by the dude who made all the trolls. And it's a party goer. He also made the howler. And we'll take a look at that soon. But first, let's... Uh, let's fight the party goer, I guess. They should be violent. Of course he's violent. Why are there two? When they kill someone, they turn them into a party goer. La Fiesta? Would Gerald like to go to the party? Only one way to find out. He oh, Gerald. Gerald's won. Congrats, Gerald. Your reward is you get to fight another one. Go to the party, Gerald. Or else. There he is. Gerald is now one of these. I think it must be this one. He's admiring his... Old corpse. What do you think, Gerald? He's smiling. He, he smiles even in death. He's a good boy. Now, if we randomize the bones. Oh my god. Fair enough. I like it. Which reminds me, we didn't randomize the bones of the hazmat. And oh, nice hand. Does the trap have bones? No. Nope. What about this one? No. So now let's take a look at the howler. He's similar to the virus dude that we made, but he's slightly taller, slightly wider. And let's see what he does. He's a bit slower. Is he violent? Of course he is. He's trying to grab me. But I can't escape. It's actually decently easy to escape. Oh, I call it this. Never mind. He's picked me up. What's he doing? Oh, he's got my legs. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? New one versus old one? Who will win? They are not friends. There can be only one. For some reason, uh, the, the one on the left is the one we made. Uh, it doesn't have any health, so we can't actually see how weak it is. Or whether it's going to die, lads. What are you doing? The new one is... Oh, he's killed him. With 7,500 health to spare, he is regening two health a second, and he's our victor. But there's also this version. It's it's called Horror, but it has a love heart, and it only has 10% of the health of the other one. All right, chase me. Come chase me. Come chase me. I want to be chased. Now you grab... What the... It screamed in my face, but it also left me like... Well, I think the difference is this one has a jump scare. Ah. And if you break his bones, he looks pretty similar. To a regular map, we've arrived. Now that we're out in the open, let's put down a bullseye. That way we can see all of the moves in detail. And we're starting with the Giga Chad. We release him. What does he do? He's got a kick. Did he just fart? Was that a magical fart? He's got a, a, a nice punch. I don't know what that is. What does it mean? And of course, the best way to get a gauge of his true strength is the 50 Gerald test. How many can he kill? Will it be all of them? He's just farted and killed quite a lot. Oh, actually, he's kicking multiple and punching multiple at a time. Oh, he's dead. He got, let's say, just over half. Not bad. Now let's give Moto Shrek a turn at the bullseye. Give him a little warm up before he fights the jet. <laughs> Get up, lad. Get up. There you go. What's he doing? Oh, he's nibbling on the cube. Smacking the cube. Got two smacks. And then, <laughs> do you see his face? Oh, listen to that. Shrek, why are you making that noise, lad? All right, that's enough warming up. Here's your Gerald. Will he kill just as many? Only one way to, he's just slammed down, but he's getting smacked on the booty whilst he's lying down. He's back up. Took him a while, but, oh. Oh, he didn't do that great. Not as strong as the Giga Chad. At least when it comes to killing Gerald. Now, I wonder what the hazmat will do to a bullseye. Will he set a trap for it? There it is, one of those ground traps, and he's just legged it. He's setting another one. He's legged it again. Um, so if we put a Gerald down, will the Gerald just... Go Gerald, have you seen him? Ger he's over there. That's it. Good lad. He's going to him. Will the traps catch the Gerald? Unfortunately, he's running in a bit of a weird line, so Jerry's not even going towards the 
traps. Jerry's too smart for the. Uh oh. Never mind. I spoke too soon. Now, nope, them. I don't think they've gone off. This one's gonna. It went off. So that is about a thousand damage. But the hazmat dude, he will just infinitely run until the Gerald is dead and caught. But the big traps we saw in the back rooms, he won't set them unless he has a roof to put it on. So now let's give the party goer a bullseye. Help yourself, lad. And that's about it. Quickly, the Jerry test. Help yourself. Do you want any more party? He doesn't even have a balloon. He's gone. What about the howler? Let's give him a bullseye. He's just spinning around, smacking. He seems a bit lost. But at least he's warmed up and should be ready for 50 Geralds. Surely he kills them. Wait, where did he go? Did you, anyone see him shoot off? Can we have that in slow motion? What? Was it? What? Let's just spawn in another one just to see what happened. I think a Gerald picked him up and then he just yeeted him out of the map. All right, let's try the horror version. He's chasing one. He's grabbed one and he's gone again. All right, we we have this may break the game, but it might be worth it. They all just getting yeeted. Look at them. They all just get sent into space. Why? <laughs> this is amazing. They've got them all and some of them. Some of the corpses stayed. A few Jerry's died. Look how rigid they are when they're dead. But that's pretty much it for this update of the back rooms. If you enjoyed this video, smack that like button. And if you want to see more like it, subscribe. It's free and I'm yellow. Isn't that right, Gerald? The first monster we're looking for is the Hound. He's in here and all we've got to do is find him. Um, before he finds us, I guess. I don't know which way to go. There could also be other creatures in here. A couple of little surprises. Oh, this is a dead end. Oh, no. Will it be my dead? Ah, there he is. I think I'm dead, but I'm still... But there he goes. Hey, well, we're back at the start. I'm still bleeding. I'm taking 30 damage per, per bleed. Where is he going to come from? Did I go this way? I'm dead again. Am I just permanently bleeding now? Oh, no, it stopped. Uh-huh. We're going to wait for him to come. There he is. In the distance. You see him? There he, he's coming. He looks like a Scar from The Lion King, but we're just going to run and try and keep our distance. Can we outrun him? Uh, as long as we don't go to any dead ends, we'll be okay. What of the problem with the pack rooms, though, you'd... Where's he gone? How could this happen? Oh, I'm so scared. He could come from four different directions. I'm going to go back the way I came. That seems the most sensible. He has returned. I don't know what errands he was running, but uh, he's here. And I'm going to turn him off so we can actually have a good look at him before he kills me. Before he... Do it. In time. Look at his face. Is he a human? Is he a dog? Comment below. Which do you think it is? Is it both? Is he a lion? Am I lying? Is it a beard or a mane? Am I a mane or an entree? Or just a snack? And now we've got him nice and still. We can admire him. He has 3,000 health. He has four animal legs. I, I, I can't... Would you say this is a human body? He doesn't have a tail. Got our cake, though. And then this. It's like if Blink-182 and a Rottweiler had a baby. But I'm going to summon my best friend, Gerald, who has more health and is also a dog. Are we calling this a dog, I guess? Yes. He's technically the hound. We're going to turn them on, let them battle. Winner gets to live in the back rooms forever. Good luck, Jerry. You're going to need it. Oh, the earth is shaking. Jerry's bleeding. He's really bleeding now. He's getting bitten, scratched up. Oh, but Jerry's picked him up and executed him. Jerry's still bleeding. Is he going to bleed out? Oh, it might actually be kind of close. Jerry, you're looking really tall today. He barely fits in these holes. He's getting close to a thousand health. How long does this bleed last? Jerry, you're going to be okay. We'll get you to the vet. Oh, he's fine. He stopped bleeding with a thousand and health to spare. Right, we're gonna leave Jerry in the back rooms and go and look for our next creature and hopefully Jerry will help me find them and won't come and kill me. So the next creature we're looking for is called Insanity. And oh my god, just, <laughs> just in time. Hello, sir. Uh, insanity? Why, why do they call you that? You seem nice. You are, are you a zombie? Is he, has he got any skin? Oh, that's a wall. I guess I live here now. He's just gone. He, he left me. He murdered me and left me. Do I even want to come out of the spawn? Is it safe? Uh, what do we do? Where's Jerry when you need him? Oh, we've got another. Oh, insanity just killed cartoon dog. Oh, this is bad. Oh, dude. We're going to play the game where we stand in a corner and wait and then hope that we survive and can run. Ah, uh, he's arrived. He came from the right. And we're just going to... I think I can outrun him. As long as I don't go to any dead ends, he's not actually that quick. Oh, this is a dead end. Well, there we go. Uh, bye. What did he do? Did he pull my soul out? We've managed to calm him down so we can have a better look. And he's definitely missing some skin. He's kind of terrifying. I like his suit, though. And 7,000 health. Let's give him a quick smack. Uh, we do about 40 damage, which means he doesn't have any armor. In fact, he has negative armor. Let's just double check. The hound, is the hound the same? 25. So the hound is beefier. But who is stronger? Should we make him fight? First, let's clean him up. The hound versus insanity. 
Place your bets in the comments. No cheating. Will he be jealous of his hair? Will he try to steal? Oh, they're friends. They've just... Oh, they're just going on a little adventure together. Well, we, we're going to need to fix that. Wait, will they go the same way? The hound went that way. What? Why do they... Do they know something? I don't look... Guys, where are you going? We're going to set their relationship to hate one another. Like so. And this time, we're actually going to see a battle. I hope. Here it comes. Uh, the blood is happening. I can't tell who's bleeding more. Oh, my... There's the insanity. Well, I guess that's where he gets his name from. He seemed like a pretty, you know, just a regular zombie for a bit. <laughs> and then, oh, has he got claws now? Is that new? Did he always have those? Oh, this is spawn in the original. Did you? Oh, he always had the claws. Hi. <laughs> How's it going? Can you not do that? Is he, he's permanently insane? Oh, no, he's lost his insanity. It's worn off. He's calmed down. The power of meditation, I guess. Clearly, one hound wasn't enough. How about... 10 hounds in a row. Talk about insanity. The, some of the hounds seem to have started attacking each other. Um, this, <laughs> this is such a weird sight. Did you ever expect to see this in the back rooms? Why are they on fire? What's happening? Um, I think he killed them so fast last time that we kind of missed the fire part of this attack. He still hasn't gotten through the first one. Oh my, what's happening? They killed him! The hound! Suddenly, the flaming ha- Wait, do they have a special flaming ability? Guys, can you just relax? Why are you all fighting? They can be only one, I guess. Right, don't make me get the Jerry's out. I'll do it. There's only one way to clear this up. Gerald, to war, lads. <laughs> oh, look at them go. Pick them up and eat them. Help yourself. Right, there's, there's still some over here fighting each other. The Jerry's are bleeding, but they don't care. They eat hounds for breakfast. Right, let's go find our next creature. So the next one we're looking for is called the Bloodstalker. That's a dead end. It really could be anyway. Oh, we found... There it, there it is. Uh, is it a bug? Oh, no. Oh, this is the dead end. I went too early, isn't it? Why am I dead? He wasn't even here. What in the radius was that? Has anyone seen my insect? Jerry, you taking the Michael. Jerry, go find that insect for me. You're ridiculous. Whose blood is this? This place isn't safe. Oh, I heard it. Can you hear that? It's... Oh, it was fighting Jerry. It killed him. Well, he kind of deserves it after what he did to me. But now I'm all alone. Going to that dead end. Oh, where is it? Oh, I found it. Oh, it spat on me again. Oh, oh. there it goes. You see him? In the distance. Right, where's my specimen? We found him, and I've managed to turn him off so we can take a look at it. What in the... He's got a big old needle at the front. These grabby little... Oh, they're kind of like crab's legs. Is that, is that his booty? I can't tell if these are wings or legs, but it, it, he definitely seems to be the first creature we've seen today with a range attack, and he definitely has the most health, too, with 27,000. Let's spawn in an insanity and see if he's stronger than the thing. Get him. Oh, they're friends. Forgot about that. Not friends anymore. Battle. Oh, did he just teleports. I think Insanity teleported. I could be wrong. He's going in for... <laughs> oh my. Is that One Punch Man with no skin? Holy moly. He's powered on, but he's not dead. Is he, is he, he's regening a lot of health. This hideous creature is dying. Let's pull Insanity back. I want to see if he teleports again. Do it. Oh, he just... I think he just runs really quick. Kind of hard to say. Uh, I, I'm tampering with the fight a little bit. Oh, it's coming for him. There he goes. Whose stink is that? There's so much going on. It's hard to tell who's doing what. But I do have a way to figure out who's doing what. And... The, oh! The Bloodstalker has killed Insanity with seven, nearly 8,000 health to spare. So definitely the strongest new creature we've added today. But to see exactly what it does, let's just put down this cube who everyone hates and turn it on and see... Oh, it did the thing. It did the spit. And then it goes for the, the one. One leg? Fart. Two legs. So it was you that was farting. Got a lot of melee attacks, a range attack, and I think that fart is some sort of poison. But now let's inflict some damage and see if it has an enraged mode. It does not. It only has a thousand health left and it's doing all the same stuff. Whereas Insanity, I think, is different. We're going to give him the bullseye, turn him on, and you can see he's got a melee attack. One, one big ice cream scoop. He likes that one. And then, I don't know what, he pulls his hands together and sends out like a big blood burst. But now let's inflict some damage to him. Oh, that was too much. Okay, this time. Uh, no, this time. This time for sure. Oh, there we go. 500 health left. How are you not enraged? Although he does seem to be hitting a little faster. Let's just compare him to this one, who's definitely hitting slower, I think. Yeah, definitely hitting about half the speed. And let's see what happens when we kill him. He vanishes. Ah, uh, you got to. But there is an additional thing we've added to the mod recently, which is a lucky block. Now, while you're in the back rooms, you could come across this. You don't know what's inside. Is it worth opening? Could it be your route out of here? Let's, let's find out. It's, um, oh, it's the white tripod. It could be a monster. He's gone. Where's he gone? Did he not see me? Oh, he's come back. Okay, fair enough. 
but you really just never know what you're gonna get. That's the, that's the mystery. Oh, it's the skin stealer? You remember him? He didn't steal my skin, though. Hey, there's another lucky block. I wonder what's inside. It's the tri-body. Ow. You know, I'm starting to think maybe these are not worth opening. It's only monsters, and every time I open one, we just got a bigger problem. There's more monsters here. Back rooms are really starting to get a bit crowded. Oh, hello, it's the... <laughs> The rabbit dude. All right, this one for sure. This one's getting me out of here. Oh, it's... Oh, hi. What? Where'd you come from? It was a faceling. Open sesame. I can hear someone coming. Oh, well. There it is. So there you go. Life in the back rooms. It's not all it seems. It's actually worse. <laughs> Would you leave me alone? Well, our first creature is called the Anomaly Entity. He looks a little strange in the picture, right? Well, he's also over there. He's got 73,000 health. He's currently switched off, <laughs> which is good because uh, I don't know where we could hide. He's got this big lump on his chest and I don't... Does he have a face? That may be a mouth. I think we'll find out shortly. He's also got three legs and a tail. Or is it his knee? <laughs> Do we turn him on? I, I, I think I'm gonna go and hide behind this wall. And he's on. And immediately set fire to the back rooms. Oh, he's coming. It's fine. We can find a way to hide. Um, behind this wall? Is this gonna work? Nope. All right, we can duke him. We can, this is fine. It's fine. We just keep, oh, he's so smart. What happened? Did he explode? <laughs> So one of the special abilities this dude has is that he can find you no matter where you are in the back rooms. But, oh no, no he's, found, he's found me already. He's found me. He's throwing fireballs at me. And so he does have a range attack just in case he can't keep up with you. Um, which it would appear we're about the same speed. I've just cornered myself. That's fine. Dodged him. Ha! <laughs> You can if you're smart. Oh God, that's a wall. Ugh. I was gonna say you can avoid him if you're smart, but I ain't that smart. Now one very, oh my goodness. Get up the ladder, get up the ladder. All right, I think we're safe, right? He can't climb. And also, there's no way out. Oh God, what do we do? We're gonna have to distract him with a Jerry. Oh God, get him Jerry. Jerry, I swear Jerry's head came off for a second. Did anyone else see that? Do it again. Jerry, there it is, it's gone. Oh, I'm dead. How am I dead? What happened? He killed him and me. But, uh, why is this wall slightly shorter? What's happening? Whose pee is this? It certainly would seem that the best way to get away from this fella is to create a distraction. And, uh, morning a monster is probably the best way to do that. But then you have to avoid that monster too. Oh, there he is. All right, we found him. Okay, now all we have to do is spawn him. Oh, 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 God, this is fine. Spawn a monster, spawn a monster, cartoon cat. Oh, cartoon cat, why are you like this? I think, did he kill the cat? Oh, now there's a cartoon cat running around. All right, this time, I'm gonna spawn in the cat and grab the cat. Get, get away from me, get oh, this is This is harder than I thought. Where's my body gone? Okay, yeah, this is fine. This is absolutely fine. Is he broken? Just didn't see me. Why is he bleeding from the butt? I hear the cat, he's, he's heard him too. Gone for him? Where's he gone? What's happening? Why is he like this? I hear the cat too. Let's follow him. Why is he running like this? Oh, there's the cat. What's wrong with the cat? Why is everyone acting strangely? Come with me, sir. All right, here you go. Get involved. Oh, and he's just... What the dickens? Where's he sent him? Did he... Oh. Oh, no. Oh, I, mi I avoided the headbutt. That's good. Oh, my God. He's still coming. A cartoon cat is making things very difficult. Here, Gerald. No, Gerald. Right, we do the loop-de-loop -loop and pull. There's a cat with no head. What's happening? Jerry's stuck on the cat. And now I'm trapped in the corner. Things are starting to get a bit weird in the back rooms, but kind of what you expect. I can't believe you've done this. Right, is Jerry going to be acting weird now? So clearly, oh God, he's right there. He has the ability to remove the head of any creature he bites. Um, so I, I wonder if he'll do it to me. I guess there's only one way to find out. There it is. I appear to still have my head currently. If I look at myself through the camera, where's it gone? He took it off me. Oh God, Ooh, he just killed two of them. Oh, there he is! Oh my god! I knew he was going. He removed my whole body because technically, and I've only learned this recently, I am one big head. Ah, uh, more you know, I guess. Just legs now. But it has made me curious as to whether he will eat the head of this baby. What's the baby's head? Oh, he just sh shot it with a nuke. That's fine. Here, come get this baby. Sir, you want the baby? Bite it. Oh, and there he goes. The head's gone. Oh, and the rest of the baby too. Oh, he killed both of them. All right, here's Shrek. Never mind. All right, what about SpongeBob? I think SpongeBob has uh, a head, right? Or is he one big body like me? Sponge, where are you going? Are you, are you fleeing? Oh, I think SpongeBob's fighting him. Oh, uh, he's dead. Well, oh, he fought the cat. <laughs> All right, this time we're just going to spawn the SpongeBob right in front of him and see what'll happen. Ah, uh, he's just been exploded. That's fine. Bite his head off, would you? Bite, give, give him the head. No. 
this time. SpongeBob, stop being dramatic. Oh my god. Okay, wait a second. Get that out of here. No, we need to see this. How do we? Oh, what, what do we do? What do we do? Get it. Get it away. Sponge, stop following me. Quick, remover. No, no, he's killed him. All right, this time we're gonna get him just before he's. That's it. Bite him. Give him the bite. And this is a lot harder than I was expecting. SpongeBob just keeps dying. All right, this time for sure. Surely, right? No. Get it. Bite him. Please bite him. There we go. All right, now we remove. Remove it. There it is. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh my. God, is he dead? What oh, the state of this? Oh, it's gross. Let me know if you want to see me make a video with the anomaly entity where he just bites the head off things for the whole time. We just see what things look like without their heads. But anyway, before we move on to the next creature, which is the frowner, we have to break his bones. We're going to give him a bullseye so we can see all of his moves. Sponge, you might want to stand in the corner. Uh, okay. <laughs> we'll just turn him on. He's doing the thing. Oh, he killed SpongeBob with collateral damage. And oh, he uses the back foot as a kick. And there's the bite. Right, if we stand underneath, we can witness the bite. There's the mouth. Uh, he's kind of like a fish. Let me know in the comments what kind of creature you think this dude is. Is he a lizard? Is he a lumpy fish with legs? He also has that big explosion attack, which seems to one-shot everything. And the bite is the only thing that'll remove the head. Is he jealous? Because he kind of doesn't really have a head. Why has he got this lump? So many questions. And I have no answers, but I can break his bones. And oh, well, the mouth is out. All right, we give, it gives us a nice better look at it. What else have you got for me? Uh, yeah, he just stood up. He looks so sad. Okay, one final experiment. What happens if you make one fight the other one? Will they bite the other one's head off? We'll need to first make them hate one another, like so. Now let's see. While well, they've started throwing fire at each other, bite the heads. Are uh, they both bitten? but no heads have been removed. They seem to be immune to their own attack, which makes sense. It's a hell of a fight though. And there can be no winner. You both you both win, you're the same. Stop it. Now let's take a look at our next creature, which is the Frowner. He has 14,500 health, and you may recognize him as being similar to the Smiler, which we've seen previously. A smoke boy versus, oh God, are you okay? What if he got horny? Do you like it? <laughs> the Frowner also has almost double the health of the Smiler. The Smiler's here, he gets angry. If we remove the Smiler, back to frowning. But is that just when he sees any foe? No, Jerry doesn't upset him. What about if we just put Jerry in him? Jerry, you kind of look related. Wait a second, if we grab him, you can see, oh, the horns are there, and then he's got these tentacles hiding at the back. Well, we'll, we'll turn him on, see if he's violent, and Jerry, you can be the uh, the wall between us. Keep me safe, would you, Gerald? Oh, he's fighting him. Jerry, you winning? Oh, how have I died? Tentacles. That's how. Jerry, resting, propped up against that wall nicely. He seems to be making a hideous sound. <laughs> I don't know where he is. Oh, he's definitely getting closer. Oh, God, where do I go? Where is he coming from? Where is he coming from? Oh, what do we do? Why do I always panic like this? When will I get used to these rooms? He, there he is. He seems non-violent if I'm not near him. Which is, I can hear the... Is there another one? Or is that another creature? What's happening? Where's he gone? Okay, he's gone closer. He's sneaking up on me. He seems like he's not violent. And he's not switched off either. He's just a nice guy. He's just a little gloomy. And I think the reason he killed me last time was because I just got caught in the crossfire with him and Gerald. Now, I wonder what happens if I spawn in the Smiler. Oh, he doesn't like it. He's Oh, he's turned him into the Frowner. What do you mean? And now, the, now he's just violent. Now I'm dead. Okay, why? The best way to figure out what's actually going on is to use a little, little experiment. We have the Smiler here, and then this is the hostile version. We're just going to spawn the Frowner in. He's immediately angry because he's seen the lads. We're going to turn him on and see if he turns them both into... Yep, there it is. All right, now they... Oh, God. The tentacles are too big for the rooms. Now, if we spawn in the Anomaly, will he eat their heads? Or are they... They're all friends because they live here. They do have a nice community. So now let's see what these creatures will do to other monsters. We saw what they did to Jerry. Uh, it was quite a quick death. Uh, he, he doesn't even really get time to turn around. Uh, they, they hit him with the multiple spikes at once. Jerry did do 100 damage though. Good lad. But Jerry is also kind of weak. So let's give him a bullseye and see what it'll do to them. For some reason, the two Smilers that were turned into Frowners are now kind of just stood there not doing anything. Whereas the original one, he's furious. He can bite. He can stab with all three. Ah, that's pretty much it. It's very effective though. Now what happens if we break his bones? Oh god, oh no. <laughs> Oh, God. I wonder if somehow we can make him look like Jerry. I mean, 
It's close. <laughs> it's not bad. Spawn in a J to compare. Look, they're almost identical. They're like twin. Oh, he did. Looks like he's biting Jerry in the groin. <laughs> so for our final entity, we have the library entity. So I'm gonna I'm gonna spawn in some uh, library shelves. We, I don't have any books. The budget doesn't stretch that far. All we can afford is the shell. And I'm gonna try and hide in here. Maybe he won't notice. I will spawn him down that corridor. And oh, he's oh he's gone invisible. He's turned into a bookshelf. Oh, that's not great. Uh, is that how he goes invisible? He just Did he teleport or did he just become a bookshelf and I not realize it? Oh, no. Now, outside of that room, it's going to be quite easy to spot him because there's no bookshelves anywhere else. But if we were in a library, you're in trouble. Now I've got to find him again. Where is my room? This place is massive. Look at the size of it. Hey, I've never noticed this arrow before. Maybe we should go this way. Oh, this way? Okay. Oh, don't move. Stay still. Leave now. No way to get back. They're trying to save us. Open your eyes. Well, that was weird. Anyway, uh, there's also a few more arrows over here. This secret door. Oh, it's breakable. Can I hide in here? I just made a secret passage. But you could have just gone around. What's the point? Oh, well, maybe we'll be safe from the library. Oh, there he is. Oh, hang on. Wait a second. Can we trap him in there? Uh-oh. Oh, uh, no. There he, well, at least we get a look at him. Is he playing an invisible guitar? He has 153,000 health. He doesn't really have a face. Kind of thick in the ankle, skinny in the fingers. Got a nice rib cage on him. And of course, he has another form. I wonder if we can get him to, there it is. He's just done it. I, I don't know why, what made him do it, but there he is. This is his uh, shelf form. Now, would you be able to tell the difference between the original shell and the creature. I mean, they are identical. Put them side by side. You'd never know. Maybe one's slightly darker, but that might just be because it's over there. Yep, I think so. Oh my God. Now what happens if we surround him by himself? Can we trap him with his own form? Now if we turn him on again, he's... Oh, I think we got him, lads. We have, we've trapped him. And it doesn't seem like he can teleport. Yeah, he can. Okay, um, so we can teleport, transform, and go invisible. Is he, what's he doing with that bookshelf? That's a little sus. Is this a trap? Hello? It was a trap, wasn't it? How have you done this? How is he so smart? He baited me with a fake one. I'm just gonna try to cr create the perfect environment for you, sir. Here, have some more shelves. Why are you like this? Why have my legs so long? Also, has my body come back? Now, because he can teleport so well, uh, he seems to be able to find me a lot easier than any of the other creatures. I mean, I'm just gonna stand in this corner the original library we created for him and we'll just see how long it takes put the timer on and, and then speed it up oh there he is oh god he's coming it took like two seconds can he get to me though hey i think we've done it i think we might be all right fortunately he doesn't have the ability to break props so he can't actually smash these to get to me and if i select a nice material such as this yellow thing and then if i see him go invisible again i can click on him and we will always be able to see him but i've got to find him first oh there he is okay well <laughs> Trying my best. We will get him. And the other library. This is probably not a good place to be because he's just going to blend in. This is stay in this corner. Sometimes in the back rooms, this is, this is what you got to do. You got to stand with your material gun out and wait. He's arrived. He's invisible. Oh, no. No. Do we get him? Do, it's, not, it's not. Is it working? Uh, did it work? Is he? Oh, uh, I think maybe we've made him permanently yellow. I don't think he did go invisible. He still killed me, though. Now the next trick is to break his bones and hopefully uh, maybe he'll just stop killing me. This is a plug. Hey, where's your material gone? That's it. I've spawned a new one. We're going to break his bones. What have you got for me, lad? Squiggly fingers? I like it. Why is his head a bit like a telephone? Or a what's it? Or a Cheeto? Maybe I should just make him... Oh, very nice. But that's pretty much it for these new backroom creatures. Hey, look at my shell. If you've enjoyed these ones and you want to see more videos like this, smack that like button. Also comment below which creatures you want to see added next. We can make it happen. So thanks for watching. I'm yellow. Well, I was once. There I am again. Hi, Haz. What have you got for me today? Another pad? It says a banana. You keep coming back. Are you crazy? I reckon I might be. Anyway, I've seen footage of a creepy yellow creature. Not you. Was it a mirror? It's supposed to be quite deadly. It looks like a bone thief, but isn't? Please find it and study it for me. I'm not going down there again. Oh, he's back in his, uh, his room that nothing can get into with all the stains and the... Look at these pictures. Guys, was this your house? Hey, that's that pool we saw. Very well, I'm going hunting. Uh, 
I missed the hole. Has can you pull me out of the ground? Oh God, where am I? You know what? This place, this place isn't. Oh, what the hell is that? Oh, this, I think that's the memory worm. Look at his wiggly butt. Hey, kind of cute. Why he can't fit through there? That's kind of sad. Oh, I hope I don't spawn here again. Oh, thank good. What is that? Oh, cat being kicked. Wow, the deaths are coming in quick today. Oh. oh. Really? What could possibly go? Oh, to go? I think I can run. Oh, I'm back here again. You've got to be joking. All right, I'm going to make it to the house before the worm gets me. Oh, baby. I'm in. No, no, no. Oh. I couldn't get over the step. The step. Who put that step there? Really? Why does it keep this go anywhere? Maybe it does. You know, sometimes you just kind of got to accept your fate and die to a worm. Is that what my smile looks like? Good. We're here. And Chad stuck in a wall. Kind of thick. Oh, no. He heard me. What? Just kill me with his armpits. All right, I've, I actually got past him. Nice. Can I fit through here? Oh, was he almost in? Oh, oh, excellent. We know there's no monsters here, right? Is that a button? Krabby Patty? There's usually some decent monsters at the end of these corridors, and they tend to be locked in safely, hidden away. Got a nice little observation perch. Anyone in there? Hello? I'm going to need my chair. Oh, God. Oh, I think I saw something yellow. I'm in. Okay. Oh, what the devil is that? Oh, is that the bone thief thing? It's got three toes like him. I've got just the fellow. Gerald! Get him, get him to turn around so we can look at him, would you? Uh, Gerald, he's behind you now, lad. Gerald's just started climbing out. Um, forgot he could do that. What will he do when he gets to the roof? Surely just go back down. That roof is a portal? All right, well, I guess I'm going to have to go in. Is it safe? Oh, he's sick. Oh, look at that booty. Look at it wiggle. Oh, it's nice. I'm going to turn him around. Is he not? Oh, oh, he's made of jelly. He seems friendly currently. I can live in his mouth. Would you look at that? That's what it looks like to be to be a bone thief. You've ever wondered? Kind of gross. Oh, oh God, he suddenly turned on me and he's eaten me. For some reason, he seems obsessed with uh, trying to find Gerald. So we're going to have to uh, euthanize him. And, and take him elsewhere. Sorry, lad, this is for your own good. You're coming with me. Oh, get him? He left a puddle behind. Oh, it's kind of pea colored. Gross. Right, now I just gotta get out of here. Oh, I have been very good at ladders. Is there anyone in here? Oh my god! Well, that ought to do it. Oh, hey, that was kind of nice of him. He sent me to my secure testing facility. Come with me. And now here we can take a look at the handsome jelly. Why is he made of jelly? And why is he so violent? Look how he slaps his hands around. Oh, he missed. But then he got me. Poor fella. Oh, no, I take it back. He's full of violence. Look how he leaves like a slug trail. Oh, it's gross. I like it. Do it again. That time he gave me a double high five. More. Again. Not easy to dodge. I'm not going to lie. That's nice. Oh, he tried to bite me. Why is he doing that? I've got an idea. And so here is my idea. It's night time. It's so much easier to see the jelly bone thief at night. Look, I think that must be his heart or his soul. And it glows right in the middle of his booty. Oh my goodness. Would you look at him? Turn the lights on. Hit it, bone thief. And I've just kind of noticed his eyes are red. But only when you have the torch on. And then he's also got this red sort of glow inside of his mouth. Terrifying. Now let's check out the violence at night. <laughs> oh, I turned my light out. Of course, he's just as deadly. Ow. Now let's feed him some creatures and see what happens. And by some creatures, I mean Gerald. Ready, lad? Let's turn him on. And immediately smack in the Gerald. The Gerald smacks back. J Jerry, don't take no beatings easy. You want another one? Help yourself. Delicious. He continues to feast. And there it is. His first bone has appeared. Once the jelly bone thief gets enough kills and has eaten enough, bones will start appearing in his belly. He's stealing them. He's saving them, and they make him stronger. So now if we give him another Gerald, will he do anything new? Oh, he just one-shot him. Uh, and he left a puddle of goo. Is this, is this painful? You want another one? Oh, he shot him that time. And he's only got one bone. Oh, things are going to get spicy. Gerald, get him, lad. You've got this. Maybe one more Gerald? That time he killed four, but he still hasn't got another bone. How many will it take? That's five. Six. Seven. He ate him. <laughs> Ten, and he gets another bone. It took... The first round took three to get his first bone. That time took ten. Look at him. 
Look at those bones spinning around. Those are Gerald bones. But that means he's now even stronger. So let's feed him some more. Here's another one. Oh, I don't know if that was new, but it seemed it seemed stronger. I think we should speed things up by having 10 Geralds. Bone Thief, would you mind coming down, bringing those bones with you? Oh, that's a Gerald corpse. He said, that's another one. Where's your body? There it is. Let the battle commence. Oh, he killed like all of them in one go. Holy moly. Is he even going to get a bone? His smacks don't do that much damage, but the spit. And more Bone Thief. You want 10 more? There's another. Oh, he takes no prisoners. Give him some more. Keep them coming, lads. Oh, he gained the third bone. He's got three now. If we quickly turn his health on, we can see he has 7,930 out of a possible 83,000, which when we compare him to the original, he had 17,464. So he doesn't gain any health. In fact, he's lost a lot and he doesn't regen. So we gotta be careful we don't kill him. And that's why we'll stick to something nice and weak like Gerald. Let's give him some more. They seem to be stuck in his slime. The Gerald's have come incredibly stuck. Oh my! What is he doing? He just started rolling around. <laughs> he's Sonic. Listen, let's do the womp. He's landed and he shot him. <laughs> He's such a savage. Oh my god, Gerald, you're under the funk. That was incredible. Well, apparently when he has four bones, he'll start doing that. Oh no, is he broken? Is he stuck in the wall? No, get him out of there. Don't let him die. No, he seems tired. He's had enough. And the Gerald's finally going to get him. They're going to get their revenge. They're, they're, taking, they're taking their time. It's been, it's been a while. Oh, they finally got him. Good work, lads. But um, it's, it's not quite over yet. So before we try and max this handsome devil out with as many bones as possible to see how strong he can be, let's make him fight the original bone thief, who is actually maybe twice the size. We'll make him hate him and him hate him. And then just let him duel. Now this is just both regular default formats, no bones, nobody's been eaten. Oh, he's thrown up on him. The Jelly Bone Thief doesn't have a range attack yet. Oh, electricity from the real Bone Thief. A lot of puke, it's kind of gross. Hard to say who's winning. My money is going to be on the Jelly one, to be honest. He's kind of strong. I've turned the health on so we can see how much de damage either of them is doing. The Jelly Bone Thief is hitting and biting for about 800 a hit. Finish him off, surely this is it. Yes! And finally, ladies and gentlemen, you're champion. And sir, just while I've got you there, would you mind if you become even more jellyish? Why is he swimming? And the front? Oh, those lips, though. Let me know in the comments, would you kiss him? No, I don't think I've ever turned the, this bone thief into jelly either, but oh, God. Um, a sock in the laundry. And of course, we can't have jelly without merging. You can really see how much smaller he is. His hand's kind of different. Now, let's try and max him out with as many bones as possible by feeding him, well, regular brains. Beast on them, my friend. There's one bone. Oh, this is going to be quick, although... Oh, my... Oh, he's already, um, he's already freaking out. How many bones does he have? What the, uh, that was kind of epic. Can we have that in slow motion where they just loaded? There's two left as well, by the way. Gone. Jelly? You know, he seems kind of inconsistent when he's uh, jelly beaning around. There's one left, so help yourself. Want some more? They're over there. He's got two bones currently. He's getting stronger. He's hitting fast. But he does seem to have a bit of difficulty with his melee attacks. I think he's slightly uncoordinated. And when he jelly beans, he seems to have no real sense of direction. Just going everywhere. Doesn't seem to target anything. He just wants to kill whatever is in his way. Or is he just having fun? Who am I to judge? There he goes. Oh, you know, I think we may need to feed him something with slightly more health. Such as 50 babies. Um, they're going for him. He's fleeing. Oh, he's coming back. Baby bowling. Are you going to kill any of them? Oh, he spat on a few. They've all started targeting him. Oh, he's munching through them. He made pretty light work of those babies. Have some more. What would you do if you saw a herd of babies walking through the night? Would you smack him like a jelly? You know, I think it's time I climbed inside him and controlled him. I'm in. And look, I'm with the bones. <laughs> oh, hey, this is kind of cool. If I left click, we got all those lovely melee attacks, which are <laughs> sometimes ineffective. If I right click, it's just a nice bite. If I press R, oh, that's when I just start bouncing around. Um, is there a way to stop this? Oh, no, I think he does a certain amount, then he gets tired and has enough. One more? One more. There it is. Now, one thing we haven't tried is actually killing him. I wonder what it looks like. Just smack him on the nose. Oh, you are. What? This baby once. He was pregnant. Were those the bones? Maybe it's how many bones he has inside. Become babies. 
god, can you kill him? Oh, he went splat. Oh, it's kind of adorable. How much health do they have? 8,500. They're pretty strong. But are they violent? Oh, of course they are. They're trying to bite me. Ow. My children, please. I'm your father now. Right, that's it. Get out of here. Stop it. I, I'm the one who feeds you. Please. Oh, he's, he's actually a better boxer than me. Ah, uh, we caught him. But that's pretty much it from me and the Jelly Bone Thief. If you've enjoyed this video and you want to see more like it, smack the like button and subscribe if you're new. It's free time. Yellow. I'm back with my dear friend, Hazmat. We got ourselves in some sticky situations last time, but today, hopefully things will be different. He's got me, he's got me a new, a new thing to read. He doesn't speak. He hasn't got a mouth. Where is it? There it is. Mr. Nana. I'm not sure I like that name. I've heard word that there are more unidentified creatures lurking in these back rooms. Please help me find them so we can experiment on them. I'll wait here. Scream if you need me. Best wishes, Has. Is that, is that your name? Has? Wait, did it say scream if you need me? I will hold you to that. The whole. Well, we don't know what we got in store for us, but I'm sure it's fine. Nothing yet. I'm pretty sure things will be- What in the- <laughs> He's not coming down, is he? Oh god, and now I'm somewhere else. Well, that's the beauty of the back rooms. You just can't really die. You just keep coming back. Hello? Well, we're back at these rooms, which are safely cordoned off. What is that? Is that water? And no, I didn't say it like bottle of water. I said water. I'm going in. And I suddenly fear for my life. What? It's killing. I think it's killing me. Hello? I'm stuck. I cannot move. I think I need a sacrifice. I, I didn't get it in time. I'll be back. Water. Now, I would appear I am sort of permanently watering. Am I peeing? Anyway, there's water. Here's a Gerald. Get the... Huh? Oh, I've fallen in. But Gerald has gone to the water. Is he going to win? It looks like he's splashing. Hey, I'm back. And I'm no longer peeing. This is good. We're, we're in the right place. By the time I get back... Maybe Gerald will have won. And has he won? He's still fighting it. <laughs> he's fighting his own pee. I wonder if it's some sort of virus. Oh, he's just killed it and left a giant puddle. It would appear though, however, unfortunately for Gerald, there are now two. Let's see if we can witness it from inside. He's getting bounced. He's covered in whatever is he covered in. That's uh, blue. I like it. Jerry, I think that's your color. He's getting bluer by the second. Is he winning? And he, oh, I think he's defeated one. Never mind what's happening. Oh, he's on fire now. That happened to me. Hang on. Is he okay? He's dead again. That's definitely some sort of virus. I don't want to go down there. This room's full of bodies. I think I just need to capture it. All righty, come to me. Please, no. Don't fight me. Oh, did I get it? I got it. Nice. We can experiment on it later. That's a wall. All right, we're back in the yellow bits. Nice. Oh, God. Oh, he's still here. What's that? That's the water bubbles. I'm infected. You okay? Are you stuck in the wall? Should I put him out of his misery? What? How in the... Never mind. Forget it. How did you tank that? He's trying to steal my boat. I won't let him. I won't let him. Get a gun. Ah, that's a lot of pee. Hey, this is not where I want to be. Take me somewhere else. Is this better? What's this place? Hey, that was just downstairs. Somewhere else. Give me a monster. What is this? Uh, have we been here? Oh, we have the weird street. And there's no way out. You know what? We'll go this way. It's a dead end. Release me. It's put me in this new corridor? A cabinet? Huh? Oh, God. I don't like this. Where is this going? Oh, a chute. All right. Fair enough. We're going in. Oh, this seems safe. It's not too bad. I have a sneaking suspicion. I was right. What was that thing? Run it back. Was it red? What's that noise? What is what is that thing? I like it. Oh, it's oh, did it just it, ah, I don't like it. It vaporized me. Was that an axolotl? I can hear it again. It's around, isn't it? It's nearby. Although, I think this is the other end. Why can I still hear him? Is this stranger things? Was that always there? Is that a tooth? Oh, it's the cat again. All right, fair enough. Well, um, I guess we're going this way, lads. Oh, that looks so much like a tooth. Hello? Oh, isn't she lovely? I was going to say one of these houses goes somewhere, but oh, forget it, I guess. Oh, we're going somewhere else. Never mind. I'm still here. This is a uh, cat. Can I, can I come in? How do I? I can't. I don't want to be out of here. Oh, God. I've got my fists. I feel safe. Where did she go? There she is. She glows. You can't see me. Sneak attack. Oh, my. I feel kind of bad now, but you deserve that. Right, we're going to the house I was talking about. It was this one. 
Check this move. I think this one opens. Nice. Alrighty. Close. For safety. Only this way. Very well. I will. Where does it go? What does it do? What in the... Who's... Dungeon is this? What are the numbers for? Why is there cracks on the walls? Oh, it's long. Something tells me we probably just should just go back out. But I'm a glutton for punishment. What's the yellow? I wasn't there before. Oh god, of course it is. Of course. Who no? Why is he here? I guess this is where he lives. Door? There's a door. I think we've unlocked a new area. I don't think we've ever been here before. There's a, there's radiators. There's, it seems nice. It's newer and clean. There's a safe. There's a, uh, is that a stain? Well, I guess we've got to follow the stain. Uh, you know, my mother always said, don't go down the corridors that have a long, dark, black door at the end. But, well, I never listened to her. It's lightening up. Look, look, mom, you're wrong. It's safe. What the hell is this place? Is that a hole? Don't think I want to go. No, that looks, that looks deep. So new and friendly and clean. And what the hell is that? Is that a demon? Maybe I should just go down the hole. You know, I think we'll go down the hole. No, I should be brave. I should think. Oh, it's got red eyes. We're going down the hole. What if it's friendly? It seems nice. It seems like it's going to kill me. Okay, it's fine. I like these carpets. I've already said it once, but we're back. And I'm going to use my fists for safety. Got his back to me. Quickly, quickly. Got it. Not What the demons was that? Oh, God. Did I send it to hell? <sighs> All right, nice. Let's just check out the rest of these corridors. What's in here? Hello, Danes. More rooms, more holes. Oh, there's so much room for activity in here. Dare we go down the hole? I mean, we've captured quite a few monsters. I'm lost. Where am I? What? Did I just slide up? These walls are slideable. Oh, let me go. What's this? It's a water. Oh, my. Oh, God. Do I? I don't know if I want to step in there. Be brave. Be brave. Uh, I should have seen this coming. Oh, you. Shrek, really? Moto Shrek? I put my fists away for one second. Oh, but he can't get out. Right, here he comes, Shrek. You ready? Try and hit me. I dare you. I dare you, Shrek. I'll get you. How are you not dead? I am punching you in the face. Okay, I, you're kind of blocking the way. Hmm. That is a problem. And I tried to move him, and he killed me again. I guess we're not supposed to be in there. Hey, Gerald. I promise I'll come back for your corpse. You know what? Shrek can keep his water hole. We'll, we'll check it out when he's out grocery shopping. I'm going down this hole. And where will it take me? Here again. This thing is magical. Hey, Haz. Um, so these are the things I found that are new and, and probably worth experiment on. We, we've got this demon. Um, I am also, I think I'm dying because that is either pea puddle or a deadly virus. But I'll figure it out. Don't you worry. Just, just leave it to me. Over and out. I have arrived at the flat testing facility. And our first subject, this thing, is no longer, there's the red, wait, uh, huh? Only when I shine the light do the eyes go red? Hi. Now if I turn on its health bar, you can see it's got 9,600 health. If I smack it on the head, it loses quite a lot of health actually, it's kind of weak. And it doesn't regen any health. And if we give it a name, it's called the Little Killers. Oh, that's nice, yeah, kind of suits you. Let's just remind ourselves, what does it do? Ah, yes. What it says on the tin, it kills. But it is little. Oh, it just bit me that time. Again? Please. Oh, look how it runs. I do not like that. That's a demon. If you ever see anything run like that, it's definitely a demon. And so make sure you get some fists so that it can't kill you. Oh, that just shows how strong that smack is. God, I can't wait to make you fight Gerald. Oh, did it just... Oh, it tried to execute me, but it can't because I've got fists. Now let's kill it again because when I killed it, it went to hell. Oh, God. Can we have that in slow motion? You look at that demon going to hell. Good riddance. And by good riddance, I mean, let's have 50 of them. Oh, what was that? I think that's a lot of demons. Do they have any range attacks? Where are they? Oh, look at them. Oh, that is gross. Oh, they're like spiders that just have. How did they suck me in? Good grief. Demon versus Gerald. 9,600 health versus 5,000. Get him, boy. How do you like a demon? Oh, it picked him up and bit him on the... Somewhere. Look how skinny the legs are. Let me know what kind of creature you think this is. Is it a dog? Has it got a hairy belly? The belly. Are those ribs or hairs? Let me... Let me know. Did someone say 50 Geralds? Oh, it was me. It, it, it's gone in. The demon's dead immediately. Eat light work for the Geralds. But what about 50 versus 50? Oh my goodness. What a war. Quick, place your bets in the comments. No cheating. Ding, ding. Oh, they've gone in. Surely it's all over. That's a lot of upside down Geralds. Oh my God. 
What are those bits? Are those Gerald bits? Uh, I think they're winning. They are mowing them like they're grass. Uh, one other important thing to do is to turn them into jelly and just... Oh, God, you get to see the face. Oh, and the teeth. Oh, the things it's hiding. Has it got four sets of teeth? Oh, the eyes. Oh, God, I don't like it. Although, the legs are kind of vibey. <laughs> Up next, water puddle. Although, it could be anything. So let's give it some health. It's got 21,000 out of a possible 86,900. That's a lot of health. And if we give it a name, it's called Mold. Oh, it's just your regular Mold that's come alive. Excellent. Let's just feed him a berry and see what happens. We'll drop him in. He's bounced off. He's got blue on it. It's quite a lot of blue. It looks like he's been painting. Put him back in. Do it again. Bit more blue. Bit more. Oh, that's a lot of blue. Oh, I like it. You look icy. You're dripping. He's soaking wet. That's some wet mold. How's your health, Barry? I should probably get you out. It would appear he's shrinking. I think he's becoming a puddle. He's he's not actually dying, but he's getting smaller. Is this normal? And he's he's very, very small. Ve very small. What the hell is that? Barry? Huh? Is he now mold? I think he's gone, lads. Wait, what's that? It's growing. It's like two cells. They're dividing. Are they conquering? Oh, it's just become giant mold with berry in it. It's berry mold. What the devil's going on? Now, if we remove that one, I want to see what the berry mold will do to me. Probably murder me. Oh, it can jump. It has all berry's old abilities as well as being mold. Oh, it just, I think it is just, um, I think it's just berry covered in mold, if I'm honest. <laughs> oh, it's gross. He's really small. Can I kill it? I need fists. Come here, berry. Beryl. Oh, and there it is. We've exposed the true self. He remains... Oh, no, I've been, I've been caught. I believe the minute I step inside the mold, I, I get this horrible mold happening to me. And am I am I becoming mold? I, I think I'm becoming mold. Or, or Super Saiyan? It's one or the other. Probably mold. Am I gonna die? Ah, no, yep, I'm dead. Ever wondered what mold would look like if it was jelly? Well, just a bit. <laughs> a bit more fluid stop that now i have a sneaking suspicion that the mold will probably heal anything from the back rooms they, they tend to be frank if i inflict some damage on the that's too much it's just a little bit uh, i mean it's just tiny tiny bit there we go we know that the little killers doesn't heal itself but does it heal itself in the mold it does look at that that's actually quite a lot of regen i told you they were teammates don't trust them. but that's pretty much it for the the these two new creatures from the back rooms if you enjoy it and want to see me go back there again oh god and today's new creature is a prehistoric bone thief oh you guessed that right and look at the booty on him oh, and the claws he's really bony he's, he's kind of like a t-rex with eyes in his mouth but he is crying but he's crying blood is it poisonous well i'm sure we'll find out 10 out of 10 look at that thing Woohoo! anyway let's see if he's violent yeah, of course he is i'm dead but i also feel alive because he's got cake what the devil just happened. Did you see that leap? Holy moly, look at him from above. Bonk, 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 bonk. You know what that means. I'm getting my fists. Can he be killed? Yes, he can. Ha <laughs> ha, flattened him. Hey, that's kind of a cool death animation. Do it again. He tried to bite me. He missed. He jumped over me. He's coming. He's dead. Oh, again? Oh. It's kind of hilarious when he dies. <laughs> I think I, 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 all day. <laughs> So if we turn his health on, we can see that his base health is 9,160 out of a possible 173,000. I'm sure we'll find out how you get to that. But first things first, I want to check how much damage he does per hit. And to do that, I have to climb inside. Don't mind if I do. I'm in. Gerald, I'm just going to smack you once, lad. There's a little bite. How did it feel? It... Oh, nearly 1,600 damage. Again. I think, did we get him again? Again. And this final one, should we sort him out? There it is. Well, whilst we're inside, here he is walking around like a lovely little frog. And here he is running around. He's kind of quick. And, of course, a hell of a jump. We will be testing him and some of the other new backrooms creatures as they jump later in the video to see who has the longest jump. But first, let's right-click and see what he does. Do it again. To him. Why does he scream like that? <laughs> this is amazing. Uh, would you guys mind if I just did this for the next 10 minutes? Now, I don't really know what the scream does. So we got a test subject. I'm going back in and we're going to scream on him. I, 
I think his bones have been stolen. Look at the state of him. His neck's gone. And his shoulder's all over the... Huh? We're going in again. Scream at him. I think the scream breaks bones or removes some. Well, here's some more Geralds. And if we go back in and scream at all of them, what will happen? Oh, some of them died. A lot of them oh. actually died. Look at their necks. Holy moly. It did. It definitely broke some bones, but not for all of them. Some of them really lost some bones. Now, I'm kind of curious whether that scream will work on some of the other creatures from the back rooms. And so, we'll just give it a go. Everyone ready? Scream. Did it work? Anyone feeling broken? You know, when doing an experiment, it's important to have a, a, a control. So if Jerry's bones break and the rest don't, we know they're immune. Uh, I think they're immune. <laughs> Jerry, Jerry ain't looking so good. But everyone else is fine, even has. The more you know. Talking of bones, you guys remember the slime one? Oh, he's really crying. He's crying poop? Well, he's made of jelly. And this one... I'd also quite like to be made of jelly. I don't know why he shrunk so much, but look at him go. He's now eating the grass. We've turned him into a herbivore. Herbivore? I barely know her. Oh, yeah. Tell me more. Anyway, let's um break his bones. Hey, hey. Oh, oh. Can we make him more handsome, more fearful? More like a T-Rex we can. Look at him. He's peeked out of his eyes. They're back there. Now, I wonder what would happen if a, someone who steals bones has to fight someone who steals skin. Who will win? What's the stronger organ? It's, um, oh, he's broken his neck. Hang on. S uh, uh, stop it, everyone. Why is he gone? What? Oh, my goodness. What have you done? Uh, oh. <laughs> okay, carry on. Don't mind me. Uh, you do you. Um, it's, oh, gosh, he's actually stolen his skin. And he's dead. Well, he tried. Now, seeing as this is the prehistoric bone thief, we got to make him fight the modern one. As like humans, he got softer. He got more handsome. Let's see if he can... Oh, I forgot they were friends. You hate you and you hate you. Ding, ding, lads. Okay, one's puked. Oh, he jumped up, but he, he managed to... Oh, now he screamed at him. Did he break any bones? I think he did. Oh, lightning. That's from the modern bone thief. Oh, he's chomping. Those are three massive chomps in a row. Oh. Look at that form. He's really gotten kind of fat in modern times. It's down modern food. Did he just 360? What's going on? The regular bone thief is doing weird things. Did you see it? It's rolling over. Oh, it's like his bones break, but then they reset. Huh? But if I turn their health bars on, you can see that the prehistoric one is doing a lot more damage. They're both on their second lives already. And hang on, wait for it. He reset again. Regular Bone Thief is on his third. And I believe final life is the prehistoric one going to die. He's taking damage, but I think he's definitely doing more. Hang on. Oh, it's close. It's so close. Who's going to Oh, the prehistoric one won. It was really close. But unfortunately for you, lad, you need to reset your health. Bye. And now he has to fight the slime bone thing. So we can find out who is the true ruler of the bones. The boner. No. Um, what? Who's on fire? Who's screaming? The slime is slightly bigger. He's also doing a kind of weird tuck and roll. I think the prehistoric one may be doing that to him. Oh, he's gone up for the leap. He set fire to something. What is going on? What was that? Quickly, comment below who you think is going to win. Don't do any cheating. Oh, why? I... Oh, something's happening. Someone's going to die. Someone's getting a new life. Oh, it's getting removed. Jelly one is very low. Prehistoric's just reset his health. Get him, lad. And he's reset. He's on his second life. Only 600 health left on the prehistoric one. He's just thrown out. And what is going on? Is that a decoy? A fake one? It's distracted him. There's a lot of stink going on. The, the decoy's just vanished. I'm so confused. What was that? Prehistoric's just reset to his fifth. And there goes the decoy. Is it a decoy? It has a million potential health, but it's not real. Is it distracting him? He's very confused. He's just sort of frozen in time. But surely it's game over for the prehistoric this time. No, he's got six lives. I think both these creatures are immortal. I believe because the jelly creature doesn't actually have an execute, he just can't kill him. Well, there's only one way to find out. There's 25. There's another 25. Get him, lads. Come on, grab him on the butt. That's it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We, we may need more than 50 of them. Although... Oh! He just panicked. They went flying. Come on, someone pick him up. He's got this. Quick, well, he's weak. 25 more. Another 25. Get him, lads. Is it working? Have we got him? Is he dead? He just spun them around. Okay, well, I think we've got an immortal... 
little creature on our hands. But I forgot to show you that when he does his leap attack, if you press R, it kind of puts a target on the ground, and that's where he'll leap to. So I need the target to go on those jerrys. Oh, I'm landing between them. Oh, no, I kind of missed. What? This time? Oh, it just jumps to the nearest target. If there's something in the way, you'll just land on that instead. Wow, this guy's a savage. He doesn't listen to me. And if I press F, I can send out my decoys, and then I create this sort of poop fog around myself to disguise that I'm not here. But I mean, well... It's kind of obvious I'm here because I'm covered in poop. But now let's find out if a small wooden house can survive him. I'm thinking probably no, but I've been wrong before. And we're going in. There is no door. I'm just going to have to stand in the middle. Is this the door? That's just a light switch. All right, everyone, pray for me. Uh-oh. Oh, he's jumped on me. Oh, he just jumped on the roof. He didn't break the house, though. That's nice of him. But I will climb inside and see if I can. Oh, yeah, you can't break the house. Oh, it's excellent. But the, the scream doesn't break the house. But the jump, it broke some stuff. And the decoy, nah, just he lives there now. Now let's find out who has the longest jump. Uh, could be this lad. And so here we are at the ramp with our previous winner. When I made all the backrooms creatures jump over the bridge, this is the dude that came first. He may have cheated with his balloon, but this is how far he got. And here's today's contestants. We got Amalgamation, Glitch, Little Killers, The Living Mole, Jelly Bone Thief, Prehistoric Bone Thief, and his fake version. I assume they're the same, but you never know. And we're gonna start with Amalgamation. I'm in, and here he is walking. But now, he's running and jumping. Has he beaten the balloon? Oh my goodness. First creature, and we have a new leader. That's kind of insane. I mean, look, he does have three legs. All right, Glitch, you can do this. Glitch your way up that ramp, jump, and has he beaten? the balloon oh he has he skidded off his head he's on fire a little bit not sure why and he's in second place now the little killer walking with a broken leg i think and running oh my god that's terrifying it's like a spider but it's i uh, it didn't do too well now the living mold the mold it walks i think and runs oh look at it run look at it go can it jump it can but it, it wants to live in the water live with your friends be a jellyfish talking of jellies will this one end up in the water too here he is walking, leaving a slime trail because he's gross. And running and jumping. His jump is good. It's actually surprisingly good, but he's in third. Or I think the toe or finger is just past Glitch. We've come in for a close-up and he's definitely beaten him by a fingertip, which leaves only the two prehistoric bone thieves. And this one technically has two jumps. This one and just a regular jump. We'll try his regular jump first. Here he is walking, running and jumping. It's good. Oh, it's so good. Oh, I don't. he doesn't need the other one. Holy moly. Them's dinosaurs for you. Now let's get him again and get to the top of the ramp and then we'll just press R which will launch us across and see if it goes even further. Here we go. Here comes the jump. Oh, not great. It's really kind of bad. Why is he in the ground? Anyway, now let's try this uh, clone version which I cannot actually enter because well, technically it's not really there. You can break his bones though. <laughs> And so, well, there you have it. The longest jump in the back rooms is now the prehistoric bone thief. But there's one final thing to do, and that is to merge all of the bone thieves. We got regular one merged with jelly, and he kind of just swallows him, and there's redness. Now for the prehistoric. He's gone in, and he's his child. And if we try the prehistoric with the jelly, and what's going on here? It looks like, you remember that dinosaur in Jurassic Park, the one that spits on the dude? Is anyone else seeing that? I kind of love it. But that's pretty much it for the prehistoric bone thief if you've enjoyed this video smack the like button and subscribe if you're new it's free and i'm yellow everything's yellow i love this place what have you got for me today boy he's got a notepad thank you what's it say hello banana please go down and collect the rainbow friends for observation use any means necessary there are three of them p.s you may find other creatures down there too good luck oh are you coming? Are you just staying up here? Oh, is this your little quarters? Oh, God. Is that pee? Now, this is... Oh, this is actually just... It's just his room. He's found a safe place to hide. I've got to go down. Hold your breath. Okay, I think we're safe. For, what's that? Huh? Uh, what is this? Someone's been doing some construction here. Well, hopefully we can remember where his hole is. And, um... Oh, there's our first... What is that? Is that a smiley cat? Hello? Is this the friendly one? Oh, do I want to... 
Do I want to risk going over to him? I'm gonna use my fists just in case. He seems nice. Hello? Oh, why have you got so many eyes? He's purring. Listen to him. Ah, oh, we don't have to kill him, but I will anyway. Oh, what have I done? What have I done? Oh, what is that? Oh god, th thank goodness he's massive. But let's make him smaller anyway, just for science. Oh, no, he's coming for me! Why did I do that? Am I stupid? <laughs> I, I needed to witness it. Oh, well, there's our first creature. A added to the list. Smiley cat and evil smiley cat. Now where am I? What is this place? Oh, I think I remember. This is a bit like an art gallery. I think this is where we saw Siren Head last time. It seems to lead to some sort of base. Ah, oh, who is it? Hello? Maybe if I just hide with the washing machines and uh, he won't notice me. Maybe we'll get our fists out just in case. What is that thing? Oh, it's just peed on me. No, 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 don't like it. You gonna do it again? Please, please, sir, be kind. There's a hole. What is that thing? It's got a hideous eye or is that his butt? Does anyone know? Why is it peeing so much? I'm sorry, but you have to die. Oh, nice. All right, add it to the list. Thing with eye hole. Good, <laughs> we're doing well. Let's go this way. And I think we're back where Simon was. Yep, I don't see him though. Is there anyone in there? Oh, what was that? Something blue. Uh, Chit, I need you. Be my, be my stepping. Uh, come on, Chit, help me out. <laughs> Do this. Oh, I'm in. Nice. Hello? Who are you? Is this one of the rainbow friends? Uh, so I need to collect you. Would that be all right? Is this ladder usable? Am I gonna- I? Uh, I don't like how he's just staring at the wall. Should we just grab him? He did say- Oh, he's drooling. Uh, I don't like how he's running. He's gonna come for me, isn't he? What do we do? What do we do? Oh, he's stuck in the wall. Get him out of there. He's out. Okay. Hey, is he actually friendly? Look at his drool. I think he's half dead. If cartoons taught me anything, X in the eye means dead. Oh. I like him. That looks like a frog from here. Well, you're far too big to squeeze through that hole, so let me just uh, fit you in my pocket. All right, blue from Rainbow Friends achieved. Add him to the list. Who's next? We've got another room. Will there be one in here? What, the hands? Hello? Um, I don't think you're the same. What's this dude's name again? Mr. Hop? Is he? Oh, well, I didn't need him anyway. Look at that. Creepy dude in the window. Oh my god. What would you do if you saw that? Let me know in the comments. Would you die as well? Where am I? Oh, what's this place? I don't like it. It's so dark. Can I just leave? Uh, do I even want to go around this corner? Old western place? What is that? The old machinery? An axe? Ah! <laughs> Who's this dude? It's the orange one. Oh, he's so violent. Um, you can just make out his eyes. Well, uh, we're gonna have to find that place again. Not quite sure how we get there. Ah, we'll figure it out later. Let's jump down a hole. Here I come. We're back at this thing. Is it even breakable yet? <laughs> Doesn't seem like it. Well, there's another smiling friend. Or is that one? I something tells me that's not a smiling friend. Uh, is it friendly? Oh God. Do I really want to go up to it? Hello, duh. Oh, I've just made him bleed out of his butt. That's fine. He seems nice. He's just terrifying. All right. See you later. Add him to the list. Dude on floor. Where do I go? I think we're back at the holes, and I gotta remember which is the one that goes actually down. Um, it did look a bit different last time. But there it is, the one with the light. Here it comes. I'm starting to hear these weird static sounds. Can you hear that? This is where we saw the man from the window like Woody, I see you. You're not fooling anyone. Who's behind you? Is that Jesse's butt? Okay, well, they haven't noticed me yet. <laughs> see you, suckers. Add them to the list. Woody and Jesse. Why are they here? All right, now we've just got to find another smiling friend. That's a dead end. Oh, God, I hope they've not come for me yet. Oh, she's on the move. Ah, she's so fast. What? Did she teleport? Or am I just blind? I'm dead. Add me to the list. I don't know. I want to be on the list. Where am I? Oh, it's this place. I've got to make the jump back. You guys remember this place? It's, um, well, <laughs> it's the abyss. And you may be thinking, go that way. Go that way. And I will. But it's a dead end. There's an invisible wall. And so our only option is to try and... Jump over the void. And I'm gonna be honest. I miss. I'm an idiot. How do I? I have a bouncer? Is this gonna work? What did I just do? Let's try this one. No, it just sends. Oh god. You know what? Forget it. I'll just spawn again. What is this place? Who's been burning things? We're in a drought. You know that's dangerous. Do those shelves? Or is it a train track? Maybe? Am I imagining things? There's a hole? Well, my adventure must continue. Left or right? Right is a much lighter area. So I think we'll follow the darkness because that's where the monsters like to go. I was right. Is this a rainbow friend? Uh... 
I have a feeling he's violent. He is violent. Oh, I can still hear him. Is he around? Well, at least we now know where the other two are. All we've got to do is knock him out and take him, take him back to the, the hazmat. What? It's you again. I found my way back to the charcoal. What is that? Now we got to find him again. He was this way. Hello, green man. What is this? I am not thin enough to go through there. I must diet. What is he even through there? Where's he? Go How could he have gone so far? Oh, I found him. He's not seen me yet. Here I come. <laughs> got him. <laughs> right. Where's the other one? Hole? Uh I want to go down there. I don't know. Oh, what is this place? What have I just stumbled across? Who are you? Sir, add him to the list. I don't know. What are we calling him? Ink Man, I guess. Um, well, that's a dead end. I guess we're going down the hole. Oh, where's the hole gone? Here's the hole. Bottoms up, lads. Uh, hello again. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Coming through. I can't for the life of me find that place where the little orange dude was. But I have found a new area that has a door that opens. Uh, um, I don't know if I want to go deeper. You know what? It's fine. There's cabinets. It must just be an office in an area of... St I'm getting my fists. I don't trust this place. Ah! There he is. It's your man. The orange one. But he's friendly now. He's adorable. Look at his little teeth sticking out. All right. You're coming with me, boy. I am so strong. Out my way, cabinet. What's this? There's door. It's locked. What's this way? Out the way. This place has gotten so much bigger than I remember. Wait, we were here before. I know. Uh, you, bit of revenge. Come here so I can speak to you. You know what? Forget it. Where's the hazmat? Uh, what? I'm coming. Sir, I bought your request. Um, but would you mind if I take them to my little test area to d experiment on them as well? No. What do you mean, no? Get down there. Come with me, lads. We've arrived. And we're going to begin with the blue one. The drooly. I think he may be my favorite. Although orange is kind of cute too. Now let's turn him on and see what violence he brings. He seems like he wants to hug you. Oh, and he just punched me in the face and then headbutted me. That's, um, hmm. That is some violence. Now, before we make him fight Gerald to see how strong he really is, let's turn him into jelly and see if we can make his drool even longer. Oh, oh, God. Oh, he's really going for it. He thinks he's in a mosh pit. Look at that tongue. Enough, Gerald. Teach him a lesson, lad. Who will win? Oh, he's picked him up. He's bit. Oh, my God. Gerald. Bit him on the groin. Well, there's only one thing for it, and that is uh, 50 jerrys. It's a, it's a lot of jerrys. Uh, yeah, he's in. Um, not even close, I guess. But if we give him a bullseye, we get to see all of his moves. He's got a double fist, a left hook, a headbutt. Does he use his left hand? He uses his right hand as well. He's got a couple of ground pounds. Uh, let's just break his bones. Oh, he's punching the cube. He's eating the cube. He loves it. And I love it too. You know, he gets a 9 out of 10 from me. Up next is the green one. Oh, look how much he moves his arms. He thinks he's cartoon cat. Also from the side, kind of looks like a cactus gone wrong. And that smile. Oh, listen to the listen to the swoops. He's coming for me. I, he just sort of killed me by accident, I think. Ow. Is that all you got? You just arm? <laughs> got anything else? Pick me up and scream in my face. I insist. Please? Let's just feed him some cartoon cats and see if he'll scream in the cats for oh my god. He just runs him over. He did pick him up for a second. That time he smacked down. Oh my god. No mercy. Oh, there it is. He picked him up and chewed on him. Dramatic. Don't overreact. You're only dead. Again. Give me more. Ah, I would turn him into jelly, but I feel like he already is kind of jelly. Is the cat going to win this time? No. 50 cats? Oh, oh, oh. Will he be able to kill them all? I really doubt it, to be honest. There it is. It's gone. That one's dead. Now, I know what you're thinking. Jelly. We need it. Why is he smaller? Why is he shrank? Why is he... Look at his face. Oh, God. This is just... <laughs> Bye. And then we've got the orange one. And he is just truly adorable. He reminds me of the dragon from Mulan. Am I thinking of the right dragon? Well, let's see if he's got the violence. Oh, we know he does. He bit me. Again? Bit bite me again. Help yourself. I am a snack. Where has he gone? Pick me up and scream in my face. Are you strong enough? Are those little weedy arms strong enough? Please! Oh, there it is! Finally! Thank you. That was lovely. Now, for his opponent, he gets to fight Barry. And Barry is looking a bit like an old man. He's dead. <laughs> Good lord. Right, this time, look alive, Barry. Look alive! You got this. Do the splits again. This time for sure. Right. Forget it. 50 berries. Come on, little fella. You've got this. 
That's a lot of berries. He's chewed one. He's still alive. He may have survived the longest so far. He's actually incredibly strong. Why is he so strong? Are the berries just that useless? <laughs> Look at them dying. Just keep flopping up. He's actually winning. Why are some of them just... What's going on? Look at these two. Fools. Good lord. How much health does he have? 14,300. And he's regening health too. He's, he's letting some of the berries live. I take it back. He's, he's two-shotting each of them. They do, like, no damage to him. Let me know in the comments which is your favorite of the rainbow friends. Now, let's turn him into Jelly 2. He kind of looks like a Cheeto. Oh, oh. Nice. Now that we've spawned all three in next to each other, we can turn the health bars on and see that they all have the same amount of health. But who's the strongest? We'll start with these two. You hate you, and you hate you. Now, start fighting, please. Oh, the cactus has picked him up, and he's... Oh, my goodness, cactus. The cactus is strong. Oh, he's going for the one under the bridge. Ah, uh, he shouldn't have been there. Get out of here. Stop it. Now, little orange fella versus the cactus. Do you please? Come on, little orange fella, I believe. Oh, it's the, the cactus. Is, he's too big and powerful. Powerful. This your champion. But I do wonder, what if we stick the and then the mm, and then that goes in there as well? And then, very nice. And there you have it, the rainbow friends. Let me know if you've enjoyed this video by smacking that like button with your stem and subscribe if you're new. It's free and I'm yellow.